Hey everybody, Gary with Basecamp Trading. Let's take a look at a setup we had in Crude this morning. Crude in the overnight actually made a pretty decent move to the downside. We had this shooting star triggered and Crude made a nice run down. Then during the US session at the Ghost Pit Open, pushed down and then left this big bottoming tail and the entire body of that bar was buying and Crude pushed up and then we left this topping tail, set up another shooting star. Topping tail, body was selling, set up another shooting star, nice bearish trigger bar, open right at the top, closed very near the bottom. So this is a really bearish trigger bar off the 30 minute shooting star and then crude pushed down one more time, didn't quite go into the lows and you see crude's leaving some bottoming tails, showing a reluctance to sell down below these lows right here. But the shooting star did give us an opportunity to trade. It's pretty choppy morning. You know, this is FOMC day. And we know that uh, very often the markets are choppy. So there weren't a lot of opportunities to trade. But we did catch this one. This is uh, how it looked on the Renko chart. Right here is where that shooting star was triggering it's also right where we were breaking a support level and so we got a nice push down right here good for four targets or four hundred dollars per contract potential made a bounce set up the wick off the 18 and that was good for another four to five hundred dollars per contract again depending on how you were trading that and then you see crude pulled back and just a lot of chop overall you, know, you see just a lot of choppy action in crude. And, but again, this was FOMC day, so that's to be expected. But we did get a couple of nice trades um, based off of a 30-minute shooting star.